P double killer, bringing flavor to you. Deliver heat each week like it was catered to you. If it's real, best believe we gon' relay it to you. If it ain't the truth, I guarantee we ain't gon' say it to you. We use mics like girls use dildos. We gon' keep it coming till it's pouring out your ear holes. Airgasms, yeah, we been giving them. Them trash cans you listen to, get rid of them. Yeah, cause they don't sound like us. And if they do, then they don't break it down like us. They don't clown like us. Get around like us. We from the city, but they don't go to town like us. The flavor we been kicking is what you been missing. Although it's free, we gon' make you pay attention. And there's one more thing that we forgot to mention. Go ahead and like, share, subscribe, and then listen. Bootleg Cable Podcast. Flavor in your ear. Bootleg Cable Podcast. Bootleg Cable Podcast, episode number 66. I go by the name of P-Double, a.k.a. Luke Gossett Jr. the third, nigga. (laughs) I am just an icon living. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what it is. It's your boy, Killer Cal. Yo, why people say you know what it is, man? Like, I don't know what it is. What is it? What is it? Yeah, when did you know what it is become cool to say, man? Every time I hear the radio and... Celebrities introducing themselves. Yeah, you know what it is. It's your boy, Young Jeezy. Like, nah, nah, Jeezy, I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> but you do know what it is. You know what it is, man. You know what it is. It's Bootleg Cable Podcast. You know yeah, what it is. Yeah, man. It's Bootleg Cable Podcast. It's the most underrated podcast out there. Definitely, man. And if you listen, you'll find out why. For sure, for sure. Talk with us, man. Um, definitely uh, subscribe, share, follow us on social media. We on Twitter. We on Facebook. We yeah. on all them, we on all that, man. All Follow the platforms. Us, encourage your people to do the same. Uh, sometimes we get our facts wrong, but <laughs> it's all good. Man, we shit. <laughs> we gonna put out disclaimers at the beginning of the fucking podcast. You know what I mean? <laughs> shit. You know what I mean? Don't, don't use our fucking facts to fill out no test, man. <laughs> <laughs> we get the gist of it. Yeah, yeah. We get that's the gist that's of what it. we are. We just a gist podcast. Man. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yes, <laughs> definitely, man. Y'all, if y'all come in here looking for for freaking all the information and, yeah. the, and the super dupe, like nah, nah, yeah. nah, 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 nah. Especially if it's some entertainment related shit, mm. come here for our opinion, man. Don't come here for super duper yeah, hardcore. We facts. don't know nobody. We don't know nobody. We exactly. don't know nobody. You know what I mean? Exactly. So, yeah, I mean, I ain't talked to this celebrity and got the inside scoop of yeah. what's actually happening, man. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we just seen it just like y'all, and we reacting just like y'all. Yeah, man. But yeah. we better, though. <laughs> yeah, man. Y'all, y'all hitting us with mad facts yeah, yeah, these yeah. days, man. For real, for real, for real. So what's good with you, dog, man? Hey, I'm just chilling, man. everything out there? Everything good, man. You know you know how it go, bro. You know yeah, how it man. Go. Yo, shit, nigga, I see you on social media, man. Just walking around with the camera out of work, you know what I mean? With yeah. Your, with your yeah. medical outfit on, dropping yeah, jewels on people. What's up, man? Yeah, man. You know, sometimes you see some shit going on, man. Uh-huh. You got you to gotta drop a little jewel and let people know yeah. what it is. <laughs> what it is? <laughs> so why, what, that was a sub or something? No, no, no. Oh, it okay. wasn't a sub. I just seen, yeah. I, just seen uh, I don't want to say a, a, a distant friend, a yeah. faraway friend. Yeah. Making mistakes, man, and and yeah, uh, yeah, I see the boy Dub man putting up a a little Instagram video, yeah. talking about some, yeah, man. If you if you are out there, you are of a certain age, and you continue to make mistakes, yeah, you know what I mean. As a grown man or a grown per- person, you shouldn't be making certain mistakes no more. You know, the older you get, no, nah, you, you can't should. keep making the same mistakes. Yeah, you can't. You can't continue to if do you the get same caught cheating shit. a bunch of times. Then maybe you should just stop cheating. It ain't for you. It ain't for you. Get if you're selling drugs and you keep going to jail, stop selling drugs. It ain't for it you. It ain't for you. <laughs> Realize when shit is not for you. Ah oh, man. And I shit. think I think a lot of people really, really need to hear that. Bro. Yeah, I, I hear you, but here's my problem with that. Like, why do people need to hear that though? Like, because like, you because don't, you pe- keep <laughs> fucking up. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, listen, man. Hey, listen. They, they intend on breaking through that wall, man. And and, you know what and, I'm and I mean, I mean, hey, my hey. little video ain't gonna help nobody anyway. But <laughs> yeah, man, you just wanted to draw some jewels on these boys. Yeah, here. man. I, I just seen that shit, and I just it, like yeah. I was kind of upset when I when I did that shit it's, because yeah, I was just like, man, like, dude, you. So you want to share with us what 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 it was? What what happened? All right, it's somebody that I know, mm-hmm. like I said, from afar, and basically yeah. the dude keep on getting locked up, mm-hmm. right? And he keep on getting locked up for the same exact thing. Mm-hmm. So what happens is, uh, you know, he posts quite a bit on Facebook. And I'm going through my Facebook and I'm like, damn, mm. 
I ain't, I ain't laugh at one of this nigga posts in a, in a long time. Because mm-hmm. when I say this dude posts like every day, it's yeah. like on some everyday shit. Yeah. And um, I, I, I was just like, yo, let me see what's up. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Let me do a little Google search yeah. to see what's popping. Yeah. Found out the nigga locked up, man. Locked up again? Yep. And, and it was uh-huh. like it, the, the, the day, the, his last post was a certain date. Mm. And then the very next day was the day that he got locked up. Oh, wow. Like I said, the dude posts every day. So mm. it's it's easy to So he locked up again for selling dope? Sell, selling dope. Oh, man, Same listen, shit. Man. Hey, listen. Nigga done served time. He done served prison time already. Mm. Um it, it's like like the nigga he'll 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 be out for a little bit, go ahead and sell dope, get yeah, locked up, I, I, it, do a year or two, come out, sell, locked up, year th- and it's just like dude. But huh? here's my problem with the advice that you gave or you're giving out to this certain individual yeah. Are they posting shit Complaining like Oh them boys done Got me again man They fucked up out here They making it hard for a brother Is he doing shit like that Nah nah So he ain't complaining Hey I mean <laughs> If he ain't complaining He fine with it I bro. just I just don't like to see My, my young brothers <laughs> yeah. in, in Locked up In confinement hey, You know what man. I'm saying I, I, I don't like the whole mm. Prison situation Or whatever So you know If that could help Somebody else out man Hey hopefully It will all right, man. All right, you cool. you you think about selling drugs, man. You better think twice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, man. Listen, yeah. As long as you know what the consequences are, man. It's True. For you, it's for you, man. So, True. yo, speaking of dropping jewels, man, we got the boy Will Smith out here. <laughs> <laughs> Is Will Smith dropping jewels though? I mean, yo, he's need to do a good. Jo- he's doing a good job with social media, ain't he? Like you know, what I mean, for an older person to come on social media, somebody that really don't be on it like that. You know what I think? Jump he, on Instagram and what he did just dominating out here. What he, Will Smith is dominating. What he did was he did the old head shit where mm. he he fake got the phone and he was like, "Oh, is this how you? Is this you know? So what am I supposed to do now?" Mm. And the, you know what I'm saying? Like I think that was like one of his first couple of posts where it was just like, "All right, mm. so I'm supposed to just talk to the, you know what I mean?" Like. Mm. Like let me play the dummy Okay Right, right. And then he's already a popular dude You yeah. know the chicks love him Us as guys We like him for some of his movies And mm. shit like that You know see, Seem to be a, a, a fun loving person And all of that Yeah So I, I guess it, it's, it's a platform that's kind of built for him to, Yeah To thrive on But you know He called himself Dropping Jewels man And um You know <laughs> what, 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 what was the quote again <laughs> Yo man Yo <laughs> If you if there's people in your phone, you know what I mean, that ain't fanning your flame. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hold on. Hold on. Separate yourself <laughs> so. from these jank ass <laughs> busters. <laughs> All right. So, Bars, yo. So so this is Get this your is, life right. This is one of his uh his most popular uh-huh. uh videos right here on Instagram. Got four point four million views. Yeah. So this is Damn, this on is Instagram. Yeah, this wow. is one of the jewels that uh mm. your boy Smithers is dropping right here. Yeah, Check these yeah, bars. Wow. I just saw this uh roomy quote that I love. Set your life on fire and seek those who fan your flames. Mm. The Philly translation of that is don't be hanging with no jank ass jokers that don't help you shine. Jank the ass jokers. Do they say that in Philly? Philly. Stand up for that is one. Is that they nourish and inspire you. Mm. They feed your flame. Look at your last five text messages. Five. Are those mm. people feeding your flames or dousing your fire? Mm. Put your phone down for just a second and look Bars. around. Hold up. Let me look, look at the my people phone. around you. Are those people <laughs> on, throwing logs on <laughs> you, your fire? You throwing logs on my fire? Or are you logs on your fire? Pause. Your Everybody <laughs> don't deserve to be around you. You got to defend your light with your life. Mm. So mm. who are the people in your life that mm. are fanning your flame? Mm. Shout them out. Tag them below. Uh. Yo. I just Yo. Saw this. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. Yo is like, <laughs> it's another way to start a conversation. Like, Yo. Check this out, right? <laughs> Check this out, B. <laughs> Yo. Don't have no jank ass jokers. Jo- jank ass jokers. <laughs> yeah. <Yow. laughs> no. Oh man. Was he dropping was he really dropping bars there? Hey, listen, man. Or was that or was that just that was just advice that you could get from any friend of yours that exactly that, that how I feel, bro. Listen, 
it's hard. It's hard. People don't like to take advice from their peers sometimes. I feel yeah. Like your peer could be sent. Like all that shit he just said mm-hmm. could have been ended in like two seconds. You know what I mean? Just get rid of all them fuck niggas in your crew. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. That's the same advice people give you all the fucking time. Yeah. You know what I mean? But when it comes from Will Smith, you know what I mean? It, it just, it, it goes a little different people because you, you have success to back up what you're saying. Mm-hmm. And I promise you, John, Will Smith, they never cut off no jank ass jokers. <laughs> like, what, and, and, who was not fanning Will Smith's and, flame? And the, com- the, the, the comments, the, com- <laughs> <laughs> the comments, all caps, definitely have to defend your light. Defend somebody, your light some, with somebody, your life. Somebody else. I love this. The funny thing is, that's my son's name. Everything you just said is right on the money. Keep on motivating us out here, Will. Keep that flame burning. Get the fuck out of here, yo. <laughs> Get the fuck out. I, are, be, are I we, bet are, you a bunch of people don't cut off their friends but all just over all, the, all, over. off of this right here. <laughs> I'm pretty sure people was like, hold up. Let me look at my phone. Five, let me look at my last five text messages. Yeah. Oh, you ain't fanny shit out here, fam. <laughs> Like, <laughs> let me cut you off. I'm defending my light, man. <laughs> That's wild, man. Like, yo, he's he's doing the same jump that Tyrese and everybody yeah. else do. You know what I mean? If I look at a celebrity or somebody that's in a successful position and I'm looking for some type of advice or, you know what I'm saying, motivation from them, listen, tell me about a meeting that you just had and how it went and what you did to overcome the, 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 the adversities that you had. Yo, tell me how your day-to-day struggles are but don't give me some generic ass shit that anybody could come up with man he had and everybody a, picking you up out here for this generic ass bullshit he had another one that i, I i'm uh, i couldn't i couldn't find this mm-hmm. one but it was it was just, it was more of the same it was like more generic shit where yeah. it's just like yeah <laughs> like yeah you could you could speak to a nation of people mm-hmm. saying this this shit like but at the same time if we all out here we have friends mm-hmm. we have true friends or we have people that you know is behind us I'm sure somebody has said that to you before yeah you can't not that you can't but I'm not sitting here looking to Will Smith for him to give me some kind of motivation yeah that's gonna that's gonna brighten up my day bro. nah man nah sit your <laughs> face ass down Will Smith <laughs> man, trying to hear that shit man but yo you see the boy Barack out here man being Obama Bay pause but <laughs> Barack out here being Obama you talking Bay. about doing the beard yeah <laughs> I heard that's a fake picture I, a, the, that, I, I was Photoshop. looking at it like yo I heard this nigga Photoshop. line up tight and <laughs> 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 nigga beard yo nigga fucking Obama Bay out here man <laughs> So yeah, they, they said that's a Photoshop joint. Yeah, they heard. Oh, okay, Photoshop okay, joint. okay. I okay. see. I seen a couple of women post it, mm. and I was just like, I was like, oh, that boy was about to be doing it. <laughs> yeah, beard, right? beard game matters. Yeah, nigga. <laughs> yeah for real. Like, I'm like, damn, Obama Bay out here killing these hoes, bro. I seen it. I see just like you said. I seen a bunch of females posting, and I was like, oh shit, beard game, grizzly game, <laughs> mm. <laughs> grizzly gang out here, nigga. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. <clears throat> but shit, speaking of people wilding. Mm-hmm. Your boy Quincy Jones. Oh man, yo, that's that's your, that's your boy. That's that, your man's in them. That's that's my people's. Yeah, yeah I, I, I hold that. You know what I'm saying? I love my Motown and all that, man. You know what I'm saying? Michael Jackson, my favorite artist. Before we get to like the the the, the, the most notable shit that he said, mm-hmm. I was uh like looking up some of the stuff that he said. I, I saw an interview with him and Khalid. Mm-hmm. Spend me your location, on. Khalid. Yeah. That dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, he he had a little interview with him and he was talking to Khalid and shit like that. And it kind of, I mean, I've heard him speak before, but it kind of set the tone for how I looked at this interview, how I read this interview, because there's no audio version of this interview right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. It's just the, 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 the text version. Yeah. So, like, it, it kind of gave me an insight on how he yeah. speaks, he speaks as, yeah. as, as a person. Okay. And he just kind of... Shoot the shit freely, like he don't really yeah. hold no punches or nothing like that. He right, just, right, right. You know what I mean? You, it's, it's just a regular conversation, right, with Absolutely. a regular old Absolutely. ass dude. Yeah. Now, I, <clears throat> as I was reading um, the the thing that he did for Vulture magazine or mm-hmm. Vulture, whatever, don't check, don't fact check me. Um, yeah, you know, one of the things that, <laughs> that stood out to me that he said, like, just the, focus on the opinion. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> for real, man. For real. For what I said earlier. <laughs> Yeah, man. So, hey, one of the things that stood out to me was um, he actually said, uh, um, the interviewer asked him, you know, man, you 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 hitting eighty five? Yeah. Are you scared of the end? And um, Quincy's response was, no. You know, what I mean, he's not. And then um, 
the, the interviewer asked, you know, what do you think is after this? And Quincy's response was nothing. Mm. He's just gone. Yeah. And um, I don't personally believe that. However, okay. I respect somebody that could say that. Yeah. Everybody out here saying, oh, he's just out here trolling and shit like that. Nah, right. I don't feel that way. Somebody who says that, I feel like, yo, they just telling you what the fuck they know, man. You know what I'm saying? They don't got nothing to lose. They don't give a fuck. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's like, yo, just getting off his chest, man. I'm just disappointed in some of the things I heard, though. Mm-hmm. But, but I mean, at the, at the same time, if you, you think about talking to a person of that age, a person yeah. that's 84 years old, yeah, and a person that's really, really successful at the same time. Yeah. So if you ever have a, a conversation with anybody close to that age, especially a dude, Nine times out of ten, it's no holds bar. Like right, dudes, exactly. Because you know what I mean. I work yeah, in the you, medical field, and yeah. I, I get around a lot of old people and shit like that. And they they don't have no filter. It's just like, exactly. yo, man, I'm old as fuck. They gonna give I'm, you advice while telling you about yourself. Exactly. You're like, oh shit, this nigga just this nigga just <laughs> tack me, yo. Yeah. <laughs> like, he yeah, just he, dissed the shit out of me he, and dropped some bars at the same exactly time. At the same time, man. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So, um, yeah. getting into you know, uh, uh, what is it like three things that he said that that kind of really caught people eye in this interview? Okay. So, what was uh, the most um, prominent thing that stood out to you? What was uh, the <laughs> way he was saying uh, Marlon Brando was out here fucking everybody? God. Damn, <laughs> he, Brando. And he ain't named no women. Damn. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> he didn't Marlon, name not one woman. Right. You think with a name like Marlon Brando, you out here slanging hoes, man. But, so one of the most notable names that he named was uh Damn, boy Richard Pryor. Yo, I, I, I gotta say, man, I felt I felt terrible about that. And initially I wanted to believe it wasn't true until um they did an interview with his Ex-wife or mm-hmm. his, you know, what I'm saying his widowed wife, mm-hmm. and um, she was like, "Yeah, the drugs was fucking good back then." <laughs> <laughs> and That's I'm like, crazy. "Yo, Richard Pryor got piped? What the fuck, <laughs> <laughs> bro? Yo, one of the first uh, that was the first uh, actual comedic album I ever purchased was Richard Pryor's double C, you know, what I'm saying album. Yeah, and I, I, you know, I mean, just listening to his comedic genius." In album format, as I'm driving around from work back and forth to work or wherever it was, yeah, like it was a it was a while. It was like a good two months. That was all that was in my CD deck. Mm. Was this Richard Pryor? I would drive around. If you came in my car, that's what you was gonna listen to. Some Richard Pryor. Yeah, you know what I mean. I put a lot of people onto Richard Pryor, listening to that man. I, I you know what I mean. I, I I really looked up to him as a comedian. You know what I mean. Just mm-hmm. to, just just because what what interested me the interested me the most was um the the era that he came era he came up in. Mm-hmm. And for him to say the shit, the, the shit that he was saying, yeah, in that time frame, yeah, but, you know what I'm saying. So, so this, what do you think this does for his legacy? Does it affect Richard Pryor's legacy? I don't think it, it affects his legacy. I mm. mean, to be honest with you, personally, I've seen like little clips of Richard Pryor stand ups, but mm. I don't think I've ever watched or mm. listened to an entire Richard Pryor stand up. Yeah. And I mean, I might go back and do. I might go back and listen to that right now, or if I could find it on YouTube or somewhere on the internet, I'm pretty sure I can. Mm-hmm. But um, I never really looked at him. I never really held him that high. You know what I mean? Nah. I Personally, mean, yeah. okay. I, I never really held him that high. I knew. I, I know a lot of new comedians, a lot of the old, you know, mm. OGs in the game. They talk about him. They say, "Oh, Richard Pryor, Richard Pryor, Richard Pryor, Richard Pryor." Mm. But I, I never really, I never really had any kind of feelings towards him, yeah. positive or negative. I guess, I guess, man. But you know, I guess, I guess it's it's hard to die a legend out here. You know, what I mean, mm-hmm. like your your legacy gets tainted one way or another, man. I mean, <laughs> you, look, man. If he if he was Richard Pryor was somebody that was standing by it and made a joke about it on stage, and uh, yeah, I mean, I the fuck with it. Like I ain't gay, but I just took a little whatever. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! But, so um, you know, Pryor yeah. was out here getting piped out. They say him, piped out, man. Him, Marvin Gaye, Gay, and some dude James James uh, Brandon, ja- James Baldwin, James Baldwin, it's James Baldwin. Are you all three of them cats dead? Yeah, it's James Baldwin dead, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so I mean, yeah. like I said, man, it's a we got to keep in context that this is an eighty four year old man we talking about here. Yeah, but like I that said, the wife the, conf- confirmed it. So exactly, yeah. so he not he of course he yeah. not lying. Mm-hmm. But he just shot it out there, and it was just like, "Yo, you like Brazilian music?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Right after that, and shit, like, huh? <laughs> it's but, like, how you gonna tell me that these three dudes that got piped out by Marlon Brando yeah. 
and then ask me if I like yeah. Brazilian music. But I mean, a lot of it, I feel like, is uh, fucking Quincy just letting people know, like, yo, I, I, I'm, I'm the shit out here. Like, you know what I mean? Like, if you look at the interview, he name dropped a lot. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And even, you know what I'm even in the interview that I was talking to you about, mm-hmm. he was talking to Khalid and he was telling him that, you know, his dad was raised by, his dad was like an OG, some, mm. you know, he worked for a lot of the gangsters in Chicago because I guess he came, mm. he was born in Chicago or whatever. And he was just talking, like, I guess Khalid was asking him, like, you know, what was his aspirations coming up? Like, mm-hmm. how did he get into the music game? And, you know, what did he want to do with X, Y, and Z? And Quincy Jones was just like, yo, man, to be honest with you, I just wanted to be a gangster when I was growing up. Because, mm. yeah. <laughs> like, that's all I was around. Nothing yeah. but gangster shit. Yeah. You know, he was talking about niggas just running the numbers, rackets. Mm-hmm. When was the last time you heard somebody say nah, numbers? Nah, I never heard that shit, but yo. <laughs> numbers rackets. <laughs> that <laughs> numbers just sound rackets. like some old ass. <laughs> yeah, for real? This nigga with a pencil behind his ear with a fucking. <laughs> right? <laughs> Notepad in his fucking top pocket. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like, yo, I'm here to collect for Johnny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, you like, know the consequence. <laughs> <laughs> it's all here. Do I have to count it? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, Johnny. I can't go into it with a dollar short. So I'm going to count it. All right. No disrespect to you. All right. Yeah. But yeah, man, he was just like, yo, he wanted to be a gangster. So like, I mean, he just got, he, he just seemed like, I, I, I get pimp vibe from him. Mm. And don't, didn't that read yeah, like yeah, a yeah. couple weeks ago that he got like 22 girlfriends or some shit? Right, man. But here's the thing. For, for him to be calling out, you know what I'm saying, Richard Pry and saying that he, he, he smashed it or... You know, he dated Ivanka Trump, you know, because she got some long, beautiful legs. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, yo, tell us about Tupac, man. Tupac said you piped him. Or you tried to. Tupac said Quincy Jones tried yeah. to pipe him? Tupac said Quincy Jones tried to pipe him. So why, you, was, why you ain't address when, that? When was that? I, I, it's a while back, man. But it was something that Tupac said that Quincy Jones tried to pipe him. So he expressing he 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 out here exposing everybody else's faggotry. Yeah, right, he, right. He expose don't your expose bullshit, his bro. faggotry. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Let oh, them know, man. man. Let them know. So what else? What he said? Uh, uh, Michael Jackson stole some some like a, a a riff or some shit like that from yeah from Donna, Donna Summers. Summers. Uh, I don't give a fuck, like nigga. I, I would do it too. Like you know what I'm saying? Like if Michael Jackson made a lot of hits, bro. Like, yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? yeah, yeah. And the song that he's Accuser stealing the riff for mm-hmm. is a classic song. Yeah. So and I remember it more than I remember the Donna Summer song. What song was it though? Do you, if you uh, remember the name, Billy Jean. Billy Jean. Billy Jean is with the song. So and then um. <laughs> Right, that's a classic song. Don, Donna Summer's song is a classic song too. Not well, it's a good song, but it ain't as classic as Michael Jackson's Bailey Jean is. Got you. So you know what I'm saying? Like, in the words of Jay Z, <laughs> I was just about to say that you made it a hot line. I made it a hot I made song. It a hot song. You yes. just, your voice, you was using <laughs> it wrong. wrong. How you gonna your tell somebody? Your was you was using it wrong. <laughs> you made it a hot. How, <laughs> how cold is that though to tell some yo man? <laughs> Your voice, you was using it wrong. Oh. Blood clots. Yo, that's that 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 was the that was like yeah. I he admit yeah. I took your shit, shit and made it better. Better, better. He admit I stole your shit, but <laughs> I know who I pay God. Searchlight <laughs> Publishing. Use <Ooh>. your right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was a cold. So, yeah, that, so that's that basically that what that's basically what Michael Jackson said yeah. to Donna Summer. Like, nah, like yo, I'm gonna take this, yeah, yeah. and flip this. And this. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not mad at that, man. I'm not mad at that. <laughs> like, like Michael said, Shay said, or Michael Shay matters, and the, mm. the white girls go to Brooklyn. Like, Brooklyn's mines now. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Jackson was like, "This is mines now. Your baseline is mine." <laughs> exactly, exactly. Man. So I ain't mad at Michael Jackson, man. Um, what he but, said about Prince and Michael Jackson beefing. Yeah, that was pretty interesting. I always, I always looked at them as I didn't before I even knew they were beefing. I, I felt like there was a vibe. I'm like, yeah. I ain't never seen Prince and Michael Jackson together. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 man. I mean, they never threw no bars at each other though. No, I mean, <laughs> could you imagine <laughs> Prince and Michael Jackson throwing stuff? I bet you, I bet you they did, man. <laughs> you I bet so? you beat it was like, nigga, get the fuck out of here. Subliminal. Those are <laughs> <laughs> shots at Prince, nigga. Those are subs. It could be. You could be, man. 
Yeah, we probably need to go back and revisit yeah. their catalogs and see if they were throwing yeah, we, any shots. We gonna put out a clip, man. Say, yo, Michael Jackson throwing subs at but, Prince. But Prince definitely did throw some shots in that. Um, I guess when he was talking about the beat it video, mm-hmm. what he was saying. Do you remember I that? Don't that, remember that, clip? that, man. He was saying something about the beat it video when he said, uh, "He was like, come on, man, listen to the first, uh, the, the, the first uh, line in that song. Mm-hmm. Your butt is mine." <laughs> Your butt is mine. Uh-huh. 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 Yeah. What, what was that again? A uh, smooth criminal. Yeah. Smooth criminal. That was the first line in the song. Your butt is mine. Yeah. He was just like, nah, I can't rock with that shit. Man, fuck because, out of here. Prince because, can't be fucking quoting. <laughs> nigga, Prince, you. With his ass out. <laughs> yeah. You got makeup on. <laughs> Making sound effects like that, my nigga. Like, but, but shit, I mean, like, they. Hey man, they said he was piping down everybody. So I mean, mm-hmm. not like Quincy Jones just stated, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Women, don't know. Don't women. Know. Hey, we don't know, man. We don't know. But, but I, I mean, mean are we- them, them, them um, little sweet commercials, man. I'm like, I, 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 don't you feel offended for Prince? <laughs> little sweet. <laughs> is it? Is it it's that the sweet one? Yeah. <laughs> Wow! Yo, I thought Every they would start them commercials when he died, but it was just kind of like how, he's a little sweet. <laughs> it's the sweet. <laughs> damn! Like, damn! If uh, I was Prince in, at yeah, that time, I would have fought him. I would have fought little sweet. I'd have been like, yo, man, who's this actor y'all got trying yeah. to play me, son? <laughs> <clears throat> them the subs from fucking Dr. Pepper. It's the sweet one. Mm. <laughs> That's oh, crazy, man. man. Mm. So I mean, at the end of the day, are we mad at Quincy Jones for just shooting the shit and talking? Nah, to nah, man. But yo, just yo, keep it gangster all the all the way. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, don't let out some of it, man. Let out all of it. You know what I mean? You can't just let out a little bit of the point. But I don't know? think he was trying to expose nobody. At the same time, he was just having a regular yeah, conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like whatever came up to his brain, he was just yeah. like, All right, I'm gonna say this. You know what I mean? Yeah, he had a little diarrhea in the mouth. He said Michael X. Uh, he used to buy drugs off Malcolm X. Yeah, yeah, like. But everybody right. knew that Michael Max was a hustler back in the day. Right, though. right. That's when true. Malcolm That's true. Little before yeah, he turned. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm. Nigga, was so. a, nigga was a gangster in these streets. He wasn't no. Yeah. But like I said, man, the man was out there just name dropping. Like, yo, I knew who shot Kennedy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He said he knew who shot Kennedy and he let it out on the interview, too. I'm like, oh, shit, nigga. Come on, man. Let, let us know some more, bro. Mm. Tell mm. me some more, man. There's a couple of things we want to know. I man. think we'd all love to sit down and just you know have a saying? conversation with. with like, why was Will Smith's daddy so black? <laughs> Why you don't love me, man? Cause he don't look. You don't look like me, nigga. <laughs> Want a paternity test, fuck boy. Hey, man. Shout out, shout out to Quincy Jones, man. Yeah, Keep man. doing your thing, man. But like Killer just said, man, if you're gonna expose yeah. shit, expose yourself too. Tell tell us some of your dark secrets, right? And, and right, not right. Just speak on everybody else. Shit, exactly. So. It is what it is, man. Um, we we have a we have a new. Video and musical masterpiece. Oh right man, now, bro! <laughs> and, and booty. Booty. Yo, man, that black booty. youngster, black youngster video, man. Yo, you seen that video, bro? <laughs> Dog, yo, whoever filmed that video, uh huh, deserve an Oscar, or Grammy, or anything else for that. Man. <laughs> yo, BT need to give them an award just for that video off rip. That's why BT ain't shit. You know, because when you see shit like that, BT, you gotta like say, yo. <clears throat> Nigga, good fucking job, bro. <laughs> right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Good job, man. They um, they what I was gonna say. He said it's an uncut version for this video. Oh, heard? I can't wait to see it because I was I was a little uncomfortable watching the cut version. <laughs> I was like, yo, is anybody else looking at my phone right now? Because <laughs> feel like I'm watching feel like I'm watching porn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching the video, bro, and I, I almost went in my pocket and got some singles and threw it at my fucking screen, bro. Like, I wanted to throw dollar bills at my screen on my phone for watching this video. This shit is genius, man. That shit is a genius idea. Made the artist as small as possible so you can focus on that booty. That booty. <laughs> exactly. Yo, look at that, man. Every time you watch a video, you see, you know what I'm saying, they, the song is about booty, but they put a bunch of skinny, flat-ass bitches in it. But the Ain't funny- nothing in here but some big booties bouncing the way they should be bouncing. <laughs> Just in your face. The funny thing about this song is when I first heard it, dude, I was like, yo, man, this shit is terrible. Word? The that first, shit, the that first shit time, stuck in my head the first time I heard the it. The first time I heard this, I don't think it was on TV the first time I saw this video, right? Mm. I'm sorry, not TV, but 
Well, the, the first time I heard this song was on the, I don't think it was the radio the first time I heard it. Yeah. But I was listening to that shit and I was just like, yo, what is, who is this? Mm. I had no clue who this was. And I'm just like, yo, man, this dude is, is, is wilder than this song and he ain't saying shit. He just. Tell the video. <laughs> Twerk. <laughs> Twerk. I, I was just like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> but then I heard, but then. That's my new booty call, by the way, man. Anytime I see a girl with a fat ass, I'm just going to go right by and say, doo, doo. <laughs> she going to know exactly what I meant when I hit it with the. Doo, doo. You know what? When I look at this. <laughs> I push look at that. Ass. No, you, do you see the genius of this? Made the artist as small as possible. So all you see is them fucking pegs. All you see is them cheeks, nigga. <laughs> You All know, you see you know is two is? orange peels on the right and the left. The <laughs> you pegs, know what this nigga. is, though? God dang it. What? You what know is what this? Is? This is the 2018 version of Baby Got Back, bro. Yeah. But there's actually people in here with back. See, that's what I'm trying yeah. to tell you. But but what I'm saying is that because like he's standing on the ass the same yeah. way Mix-A-Lot was standing on the ass yeah. back then, but it's just real ass this time. Right. Right. But I mean, Mix-A-Lot had girls in there Popping that ass though There yeah. was girls in there whining yeah. You know what I'm saying Like I watch You know the, the Snoop Dogg And Dr. Da 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 Yo that was my favorite video Cause they had a like, thick chick In that shit dog yeah. But what I was saying Why don't y'all focus more On that booty Like yo That's all I wanna see But this song And this song right here Went right to This this video right here Went right to the point bro <laughs> It went right to the point It was like Let's make the artist As small as possible So all you see is That booty <laughs> that boy. <laughs> doo, doo, doo. <laughs> Yo, good job, black youngster. You get a bootleg cable podcast award. <laughs> you fuck some black youngster on that shit, man. Yeah, I fuck with him. And, and you know what? I, I watched the interview that he had on um, Everyday. Every no, nah, uh, yeah, Everyday Struggle. Yeah. I I like his hood articulation. What uh, did he say? Anything that was kind of profound? To you? It's, it's it's not profound, but it's like on some hood profound shit. You see what I'm trying to say? Well, like how he just like yo, listen, man, I ain't got that problem saying no, no to motherfuckers in the hood. We grew up in the hood saying no. So yeah. if I got a cousin or auntie or whatever, whatever, I, I'm getting money now. I don't fuck with you. No, bitch. No, I don't got no problem telling bitch. No, I like the fact that he was un- uh, he's, yeah. he's unapologetic un- about right. who he is. Exactly, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, mm-hmm. it, it just uh, yo, he's like yo, this is who I am. You know what I'm saying? Like if I don't fuck with you, I don't fuck with you, mm-hmm. and it's fuck you <laughs> for life. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? Ain't no making up. <laughs> hey, fuck you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and he man. just like you said, unapologetic about it. And uh, yo, know what I'm saying, I I give him props for that. Man. The song, the song definitely grew on me, man. Like mm. I said, the first time I listened to that shit, I was yeah. just like, yo, what the fuck is this? Because mm. to be honest with you, that is the first song I've ever heard from yeah. him. Right? Nah, I I, 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 I haven't. Yeah. I, it, it, well, the first song that I could name and yeah, I say, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, excuse me, that like, this is him. Right. I've yeah. never, I can't name any other Black right, Answer right. song. I, I used to always wonder, mm. how does dude get so much money? Mm. And I've never heard any of his songs. Exactly, exactly. But like he was saying um, on the on the, on the, in, on the interview with, uh, what you gonna call it? Them? Everyday Struggle, yeah. Yeah, that uh, he, anytime he's seen like strippers in the, in the, in the video, like, mm. you know, people go to the strip club, and they videotape strippers or strippers, whatever the case is, he always heard his song somewhere in the background. Mm. Not necessarily this song, but one of his songs. Mm-hmm. So I guess if yeah. you're not really in the strip club culture, mm. you don't really know who this cat is right, like yeah. that. But I mean, hey man, you getting yeah. your money, bro. Yeah. It's, do, it's do all, what you do, the man. only unfortunate thing I have to admit, you know what I mean, about songs like this is like, yo, that it 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 uh that rape culture shit. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like when I hear a song like this, I'm, I'm gonna keep it real. I, like I want to go to the club, and this shit come on, I can't be standing by myself. Like, where's that booty at? Like, I need to be on something. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm climbing behind something, man. Ain't no, yeah. hey, excuse me, you want to dance? It's like, yo, mm. oh shit, come here, <laughs> that booty. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Toot <Do-do-do. laughs> that thing up, yeah, man. But so what's going on right out here, man? Young fucking NBA. NBA NBA young boy NBA young boy God Is this faggotry bro Is this faggotry going on right now What what, what do you say this is bro It's the pussification in progress man Pussification in progress 
Yeah, so, some some of it is that to me. But what we talking about right now is um young, what is it? Young NBA, M- NBA young boy, NBA young boy. Another cat that I've never heard a song from mm-hmm. until yesterday. I heard one of his songs. He got his song called "Never Don't Come Outside" or "I Don't Want to Come Outside" mm-hmm. or some shit like that. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> This dude, I guess he idolizes Young Thug. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. First of all, I don't know how old Young Boy is, but let's just say he's twenty. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm pretty sure he probably yeah. twenty or younger, okay. right? How can you idolize somebody that basically just came out? Mm-hmm. Like, I I don't I don't understand that. Or I mean, maybe I'm maybe I'm saying it wrong, but. Yeah. Young Thug been out for how long now? You what, killed my six point, years? though. But go ahead, though. Yeah, yeah I'm killing yeah. your point. Go, go, nah, no, 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 no. Go ahead, go, go ahead. Go, go how, ahead. how can you idolize somebody yeah. that's so new to the game? Because um, Young Thug ain't even. He's technically hasn't dropped uh, an mm-hmm. album yet. He got mm-hmm. the Jeffrey joint. Mm-hmm. He got the Slime season. This, that, and the third. Yeah. He got a, you know mm-hmm. the joint with uh, I guess so, Future. So Jeffrey out here. Jeffrey is what 29? 29. Yeah. Is 29. Yeah. So. How, how how can you idolize somebody? See, all right, you, you, you fucked up my point, but however, I, I guess I could still make it, man. Like, you remember there was a point in time where, like, you know, what I'm saying, like, a new artist would come out, and you'd hope when they in an interview you, that artist would say, "Look, um, I look up to Piggy Park." Yeah, you know what I'm saying, like, yeah, and all those kind of artists, man. Yeah. I guess we would expect him to say something like, I look up to the T.I.'s and, you know, what yeah. I'm saying, and the Gucci Mans and all that. Yeah. But I, I, I think the we're get, we're getting older. So, you know, what I mean, to to the point where those people are so old that these these this new generation do not know who these people are or knew, know their music. So the people that we would expect them to say they looking up to. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's not them. It's only us that look at that, but they are respecting a different generation of people. I mean, young, young Thug been out for what a good maybe five years, five years now. So I mean, I, I would you know what I mean like listen to that kind of music and culture. Everything's fast paced. I, I could see why he would admire Young Thug. It's, uh, but it, like these this dudes, is, and you you hear songs like you know what I'm saying like, and he uh, sound like Young Thug. Right, but you, you can tell you can like, tell the young you can see the young blood influence even, in the songs. Um, what's his face? Uh, <laughs> what's the nigga name? Uh, with the one eye, uh, Fetty, Fetty Wap. You know what I mean? Making the song like Yo, Where's Khalifa? Yeah, like these dudes are giving their peers credit, and it's their peers, but they they really like looking at them like Yo, you the the OG in this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's Young Thug OG though. <laughs> I, yeah. Nigga, that nigga's gonna be dead at fifty, dog. He a OG. God <laughs> damn. Life expectancy of these motherfuckers so, on so, lean so I, and all kinds of I know, shit. I know we kinda went on a tangent, <laughs> but mm. supposedly, I don't know if Young Thug gave him this chain. Mm-hmm. If he gave it to him or whatever, fine. This nigga got a chain that he's rocking on his neck of Young Thug mm. smoking a cigarette or smoking some weed or mm. whatever the case is. Mm-hmm. Lighten up. As as a grown ass man, mm-hmm. I understand. Uh, to to me, there's only one person you should have on your chain mm-hmm. as a grown ass man. Is that Jesus be? That's it. <laughs> you don't even believe in Jesus. Why you got <laughs> Jesus be? <piece>? Exactly. <laughs> Everyone lead his lead. Exactly. <laughs> so, but, to, like to me, that's the only person so on NBA your young chain. Young boy is 19 years old. Young thug is 10 years older than him. So there was no like. Tell me, like growing up. There was no dude that was like maybe two, three years older than you that you looked up to. Growing up, yeah, like growing up, high How old school. Am I like, now? Thirty-five. Yeah, um, I'm thinking about your high school years. So I'm, no, no, I'm just saying. I'm just thinking about it right yeah. now. So if you think about it, uh, I'm not talking about artist-wise or somebody popular. I'm talking about like yo, back in high school or back in the day, man. Like yo, I like this dude right here. You know what I'm saying? Pause. But I mean, you know my saying? brother. Yeah, I mean, other than like, my brother, nah. So there was no like, you know what I'm saying? High school popular dude that she was like, yo, I like how this dude move, man. Nah, not really. I mean, it was a, I ain't going to say nobody. You know what I yeah. mean? Get nobody no motherfucking props like that. Yeah, you don't got to give them the props. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. got to call out the well, name. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, yeah. yo, it's it's is it that bad of somebody to yeah, say, like, this, I, dude is only, this dude is like nine, ten years older than me? That's fine, but am I going to put that nigga on my neck, though? 
That's a that's that's a whole different category. <laughs> that's a whole different category. All right, I respect how this nigga. Right, so, he getting mad bitches. He got the flying sneakers. I'll, all right, all right. I fuck with dude. It's, it's, but am I gonna put him? Am I gonna idolize this nigga but in a chain to, form and yeah. put him on my neck? I get what you're saying, and, and uh, my face. I'm smiling because yeah, I agree with you, right? Yeah. But however, like Drake fucking tattooed Lil Wayne on him. Oh, that's that's super He's, duper. That's super duper. duper sus, gay, all that bullshit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's your pair, but you're tattooing them. All. So is this worse wearing a chain of Young Thug than getting a tattoo? Which one's worse? Oh, getting a tattoo is definitely worse. But ain't nobody killing Lil Wayne. Um, Drake, though. I think people did kill Drake about that shit. Mm. We didn't necessarily talk about it like that because, I mean, we yeah, didn't really talk it's, about Drake. But, but it's a Drake mystique. That's why we didn't talk about it because we, it's like you throwing rocks at Drake, but it's like, I ain't nothing just going to hit anyways. True, <laughs> but I mean, he got he got multiple people tattooed on him. He yeah, got Aaliyah yeah. tattooed on him, don't he? Yeah, I, I, the, the Aaliyah I'm cool with. Aaliyah's pa, passed away, rest in peace. Aaliyah's technically an OG. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. So he got Aaliyah tattooed. He got Wayne. I think he got somebody else. Denzel Washington. Denzel right? Washington. Like that. That's dude. Like nah, bro. Yeah. It, it, it all it's it's all in line. Yeah. That's worse than this though. Yeah. But this is bad still. This is bad because it costs a lot of money to make that fucking chain. I, I would I would venture to think. I mean, if you it, on the from from the looks of it, it's a dope chain to mm-hmm. look at. Yeah, I would wear this if I was Young Thug. Yeah, I would wear a picture of me like you know. Yeah, what I'm yeah saying? like look, Rick Ross got the Rick Ross face yeah, chain. Yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely. I would rock a chain of myself. Yeah, but I'm not gonna rock nobody else, especially. If this was like Biggie, Man, a bunch oh. of dick in the booty ass. Don't give a fuck what they doing. If this was like Biggie, if he had like a Biggie right, or right, a Tupac right. chain yeah, or yeah. some shit like that, Somewhere, where yeah. we could we could say, all right, you know, we recognize but, this dude is a legend, blah yeah, blah yeah. blah. Jimi Hendrix, but that's whatever what I'm the saying. Case that's is. what I'm saying. They're they're legends, or more short term. You know what I mean? They don't know Tupac. They don't know the Biggies. They don't know. They may know Tupac and Biggie, but they don't know the. Some of the people that like, like the Red Mans, they don't know the Keith Murrays, they don't know anything about these artists. That's crazy, bro. You know what I'm saying? All they know is fucking Young Thug, goddamn Lil Wayne. That's crazy. Motherfucking Chief Keith, and fucking Waka Flocka Flame. These are the people that that's, they that's grew up listening to, and that's their that's their generation. Those are the people, the, the more popular guys. Hey, man. Like I said, man. Like I don't never hear none of these cats shouting out like the little. You know what I'm saying? The 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 undertone dope artists is from their generation. It's always the most popular to people me. That if, they, if, they, they if, celebrate. if I'm in the game with you and mm-hmm. I don't really care how much of an influence you is on me, mm-hmm. if I'm in the game with you, mm-hmm. you my competition. I'm not wearing you around my neck, bro. Yeah. All right. But there's no more competition in hip hop like that. There's no more I could rap better than you. And what's more of I could get more money than you. And then, I mean, I, I, exactly. I mean, I was going to say what happened to that, but we all know is it, the whole money situation changed the whole game of hip hop. Yeah. And now everybody just in it for the bread. Yeah. But I mean, I, I, I don't know, man. I think that the, uh, the, the, the competition aspect of it definitely needs to come back. Yeah. And that will change a lot of this stuff. Cause I mean, I, I, I seen a lot of people talk about hip hop, and they say, you know, the, the the culture influences a lot of negative, especially the stereotypes mm. and this, that, and the third. But I mean, the competition to me, especially with hip hop, is yeah. definitely healthy because it bring it back to the essence of where this mm. shit come from, man. You know, this These DJ versus that not DJ. Know about the essence of hip hop, man. You know what I mean? Uh, When's the last time you seen some two DJs on stage like, "Yo, let's let's battle, yo." I mean, you know they have saying? DJ competitions and shit. I mean, beat battles. That, yeah. That's the closest thing. Yeah, Timberland versus Swiss Beats. But why, we sure why ain't Timberland still beat. running though? We ain't about that. Like. <laughs> <laughs> so what else we got out here, bro? Um, Valentine's Day coming up, bro. Yeah, we should have started off with that. <laughs> you probably wanted to. I like, fucking throw out the list of shit. No, 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 no. Well, no. Valentine's Day coming up, man. And I'm hot as fuck up in here, nigga. I'm sweating, bro. <laughs> it's all good. Fuck the AC app, man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Valentine's Day, man. How do we feel about Valentine's Day? Uh, all right. So, as a man, like, really, really, tell the truth, bro. Like, how do you feel about Valentine's Day? As a man, Valentine's Day, I really don't give a damn. Mm. About Valentine's Day at all Yeah And I know a lot of people Oh it's, it's Valentine's Who Who says 
you have to do X, Y, and Z on Valentine's. Exactly. Day. That's the point I hate the most. I hate the most. Like, yo, it'd be better if you say, yo, listen, man, three days out the year, mm-hmm. you got to do the most for your girl. Just pick three. Yeah. Have her pick three. How? No, fuck that. <laughs> no? Nah, you? I want to pick the three. Okay. I want to decide when I want to get in that vibe and do something special for you. Mm-hmm. I do not want it being dictated to me, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. just the fact that Valentine's Day is... It's created for me to fucking do something special. And if I don't do something, then I'm a shitty person. According to society. With Valentine's Day, right? Yeah. Um, why is it that the guy always has to do something special for the woman on Valentine's Day? I mean, Day? yeah. I mean, yeah, we can say that. We all know right? every guy probably feels that way. Why why is it that, you know what I'm saying, it's it's written in law that I am the one that has to do it. Yeah, why? Why is that? Yeah. Why I don't know. I don't why know. Is, why is it that? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't hit you up mm-hmm. and be like, "Yo, killer, what your girl did for you on Valentine's Day?" That's because women feel like everything they do is special. Mm-hmm. They feel like everything they do throughout the year, every day, is special. Mm-hmm. Like a dude do something. Like if I go to work, I'm going to work to take care of my family and provide. You know, what I'm saying food, shelter. You know what I'm saying For my family I'm doing this for my kids I'm doing this for my wife I'm doing it for all of them That's how I do look at it mm-hmm. But a female will look at it like I'm doing this for us mm-hmm. Yeah This is this is hard for me to do But I'm doing this mm-hmm. And I deserve to be celebrated Because I'm doing this And it's like What yo Like I don't I, How do you get credit for Doing something you're supposed to fucking do Alright so let me Let me let me read uh, 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 I don't I know I think you read this last year Funny enough, you're gonna read what Valentine's Day is and St. Valentine's and shit. Nah, did, did, no, no, we didn't read this last year. You did, nigga. You need to go look up fucking Bootleg Kick <laughs> Podcast episode from NPR, 14. From NPR. <laughs> yeah, yo. No, we didn't yeah, read this You last read the same shit. Go ahead, go ahead. It says from February 13 to 15, the Romans celebrated the feast of Lupercalia. The men sacrificed a goat and a dog, mm-hmm. then whipped women with the hides of the animals they had just slain. The Ooh. Roman romantics were, quote, drunk and they were naked, says Noel Linsky, a historian of the University of Colorado. Mm-hmm. Young women would actually line up for the men to hit them. Mm-hmm. They mm-hmm. believe this will make them fertile. Mm-hmm. Fertile. Fertile. Mm-hmm. The brutal the brutal fete um, included a matchmaking lottery in which young men drew the names of women from a jar. So you just pick a bitch from, mm-hmm. the, from the jar. Yeah. <laughs> the couple would then be coupled up for the duration of the festival if we know what coupling up means and um what it says uh they would be coupled so, oh, Valentine's Day was like freak nick back in the if day. yeah if if <laughs> if the match was right uh-huh. the ancient romans may also be responsible for the name of our modern day love uh emperor claudius ii executed two men mm. both named valentine on February the 14th I thought it was some dude Named St. Valentine That went around And gave <laughs> fucking gift cards <laughs> on, on February 14th Of different years In the 3rd century AD The internet is always Changing fucking What history is <laughs> Later Pope Galatius The first uh, Mudded things On the 5th century By combining St. Uh, Valentine's Day Next time with, somebody Reads something to with, me They gotta read it From a library With <laughs> with, <laughs> with Lupercalia To uh, expel the pagan rituals uh, but the festival was more of a theatrical <laughs> interpretation. <laughs> it was a little more. <laughs> it's just so freaky and wild as fuck. <laughs> Yo, if this shit ain't from the library, I ain't fucking with it, man. I think it's out here. Yo, Same. yo, y'all check check the article. It's 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 on NPR.org. <laughs> it was handcuffs and chains back in the day. It's, it's on NPR.org. It's called the Dark Origins of Valentine. <laughs> Let thing. me slap that booty. You be fertile, baby. <laughs> right? <laughs> that booty. Yeah, that's like us uh, saying nowadays, like modern day uh, fucking myths and mythologies. Like, yeah, if I fuck you from the back, that ass gonna get fat. <laughs> Dude, dude, but like, like, think about this shit, right? So, yeah. if if this is correct, right, from February thirteen to fifteen, two days, three days, whatever you want to call it, yeah, they they celebrated by 
eaten they 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 uh sacrificed golden dog mm-hmm. and used the skin mm-hmm. to slap women on the ass for <laughs> and then from that you know a couple hundred years after mm. they mixed it with this whole saint valentine's day thing and then mm. now we get today what we call valentine's day is in there, accordance is, to this shit if this shit is correct <laughs> if this is correct so yeah. so let's just say that this is accurate okay what do you think that could happen nowadays <laughs> that would spark that would spark some shit yeah. 100 years 200 years from now that's what i'm trying to say bro wait yo listen girls like yo let a nigga fuck on valentine's like it like like key west key west every year they have fucking lobster fest yeah or so, uh, yeah fantasy fest fantasy yeah. fest yeah well they have lobster fest too so yeah. but let's go fantasy fest yeah so some shit that people do in Fantasy Fest yeah. could very well 200 years from now mm-hmm. morph into a fucking holiday. Ex- exactly. Freaknik, man. Like, yo, what happened to shit like that? Like, I miss shit like that. Let's all go somewhere. You know what I'm saying? That's how South Beach on um, Memorial Day weekend was, man. Mm. Let's get down there. You show that booty. <laughs> and let a nigga rip on Fantasy well, well, I mean, well, and, and then this this here is not even, when they said the third century, were we in the 20th century? Mm-hmm. So how many... 17 centuries ago Exactly mm. So Man, it's, sh- it's not even You know what I'm saying Way more than 200 years mm-hmm. So after all of this time Like this is what That shit morphed into Like imagine If you had people From back in the days Like I remember Back in our days You know what We used to strip The skin off a goat <laughs> And slap a bitch On the ass And that's what I'm saying And, you know, and make her fall in love With me <laughs> Exactly bro Exactly And the saddest Here's the saddest part About Valentine's Which is the actual truth <gasps> I could go to Publix and buy flowers, and for those that don't live in South Florida or anywhere where Publix is, it's a grocery store. Yeah. But I could go to Publix and buy flowers mm-hmm. and chocolate, mm-hmm. and that'll be enough. You did something. Another thing. Another- but on the low, that's sad, though. Yes. On the low, that's sad, but but it's 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 because you want something. Like if you if I didn't give you nothing, I don't love you. And, so and I could then, I could just half ass it. And then remember, y'all, we we ain't here for the facts. Yeah, y'all, we ain't here for the facts. Y'all so. ain't here for the facts. Y'all yeah, here yeah. for our opinion on this shit. <laughs> exactly. So my <laughs> thing with this is, who who start like when was it that chocolate mm-hmm. and flowers became the theme of Valentine's Day? Yo, I, I bet you it was like. It was like an advertisement. Like no. somebody, somebody was sitting back on some marketing scheme and just like, "Yo, man!" It was Suave Motherfucker Number One. There was the Suave Motherfucker did mm. that shit. And did you see what Adam did for Gloria? He got her flowers and chocolate. Why can't you do something like that for me? Mm. And that became the thing. Suave Motherfucker Number One. Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He yeah, got her flowers in a heart shaped box. <laughs> exactly. He did all that. He and, went above and, and, and that, beyond. And that became it. And then, or it he, never even happened. They put know, it. They put it in a movie, and it was like, you know "Oh, what? that's you know so what? sweet." I was. I was thinking about this shit, mm. and you know what? I want everybody to do if you have a chance for Valentine's. Yeah. Day, I want you to to go outside of fucking high school or middle mm. school and post up and just watch. The amount of women, young women that come out of the high school or with the middle balloons. school with them, with them big ass fucking balloons. Yeah. And just watch them try to get on the <laughs> Knock school out bus. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I get everything Or get in the hall. car or whatever. Do, 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 do. Yo. Big ass balloons and yeah. teddy bears and shit, shit like do that. You know how much time I had to fucking go steal that shit, nigga? <laughs> What? I used to steal them shits, dog. What was, I would never fucking. What, what was, I never had enough money to buy all that shit. What was you wasn't working at fucking fourteen and fifteen. What was your hardest Valentine's Day gift coming up as a, as a youngin? Hardest? Yeah. Like man, what, what, when they first what had you the think po- was fly. The fly shit I did was like the when they had the, the talking poo bears when it first came out. Mm. You know what I'm saying? When, when talking poo. I don't know if y'all remember talking poo, but talking poo was the shit, man. I got okay. talking poo. You know what I'm saying? I I, I got. I went and got the big ass. Stuffed heart And mm-hmm. I got the flowers And I got the balloons man Okay And I, I went to school With the You know what I'm saying I had to hide, hide all that shit I didn't want my mom Criticizing me like Where you going with all that shit Why yeah, you ain't yeah. buying me nothing Yeah 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 <laughs> You know what I'm saying So I had to hide all that shit In the garage But yeah man I went to school with all that man Alright so the hardest shit That I did for Valentine's Day Was my mm. had my little girlfriend at the time mm. And I made a CD Yeah You know what I'm saying With a whole bunch of love songs mm-hmm. And shit like that on uh-huh. there Uh huh 
and you know you had to you remember you had the the fucking printer shit that you could buy mm-hmm. and print shit on the CD or mm-hmm. whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like I printed out like a picture of me and her on the CD mm-hmm. and did the whole me and her on the CD cover mm-hmm. and the date that we started dating Aww. and all kind of shit like that. Mm. And then coupled that shit with the flowers and the chocolate. This you know nigga, nigga dub man. Nigga was nigga was the bomb with that shit. But these days you just send that shit in the fucking playlist. Hey, listen, bro. Here shit go like the that. shit though. Here go the shit Isn't it kind of sad That we would have done it Back in the day mm-hmm. But we don't want to do that shit now Like as a youngin I'm a grown ass man You look forward to that opportunity Because you wanted to show her friends And everybody else I got this Hey And I'm doing what I'm supposed to do As a boyfriend Nowadays 2018 They say secure the bag mm-hmm. Secure the pumps Secure the pump, secure <laughs> secure the box. Secure that box, man. Yeah, I guess. Secure the box. That was that was what you was trying to do in, in, in high school or middle school. Mm. You're trying to secure the box, man. You just right. wanted you just wanted somehow, some way to end up with you and her Valentine's Day. You all up in it. Bro. That's true, man. But all right, going 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 to going to questions related like that, man. And um mm-hmm. is this something that you ever done? Um have you Ever lied on your dick before? Oh man, I gotta be honest, don't I? Yeah, you got you gotta keep it a buck, bro. Have you ever lied I on have. your dick? I have, I have. Mm, why? At the time, uh-huh. I thought it was gonna get me a little bit more clout. It was mm-hmm. like I lied because it was a chick that I was talking to at the time, mm. and I didn't smash yet, mm. but I knew that I was gonna smash. Okay, so you knew the smash was coming. Yes, uh-huh. so I lied on it to be like, yeah, man, of course. Yeah. No question. Yeah. But it didn't go down at, at the time yet. Oh, it didn't go, but it, did it ever it go down? It did go down, mm. but I lied before, you know what I mean? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So how do we feel about niggas that lied on their dick? Have you ever seen a nigga get um, caught up for lying on their dick before? Um, yes, I did. Mm. I did. I did. Yeah, it was somebody that I went to high school with, and um, he was he used to always talk about how he was smashing his chick, mm. and yeah, it came to the light that he he didn't. Damn, like at all. Oh, that's sad as fuck. You need, <laughs> you need to cut your dick off for that one, bro. <laughs> at all. Mm. At all, but um, yeah, man, I lied on it. I lied on yeah, it, man. man. You know? Have you ever lied about smashing the chick that you did smash and say you didn't? No. No. Oh, okay. Okay. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, man. You? I nah, not that. But I did lie on my dick before, though, man. I have lied on my dick, man. It was kind of the same Why? scenario that you went through. It was a chick that I I worked with, and um, mm-hmm. it was it was one of the scenarios where like everybody saw us. Mm-hmm. Interact with each other at work mm-hmm. And it was like Yo you fucking And I'm like Nah I'm not fucking They're like Yo y'all fucking mm-hmm. Like y'all too 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 tight Y'all too close So um, It got to a point Where one time too We close, went money. Yeah too we close. We got to a party And um, You know Everybody was doing their thing Drinks was involved Smoke was involved And all that You know what I mean Shorty and I went upstairs You know when You ever been in a scenario When you know Just like you said earlier Like I got this. It's going down. Yeah. So, but it's kind of like I had that feeling. So I I took my time with it. You know what I'm saying? I'm playing with my food in a sense. Yeah. So you know we up there kissing, making out, doing all that kind of jazz. You know what I mean? At the, in the upstairs in the apartment, and um, a fight broke out downstairs. So hearing all the the noise and commotion, you know what I mean? Went down there to go check the shit out. Mm-hmm. Blah blah. Cops got called. Party done. Everybody go home. Mm. So got back to work. So the, my colleagues that work and were at the party, they was like, "Yo, I seen you went upstairs with such and such." Damn. Did it go down? I know. Uh, yeah. Because I felt like it was supposed to go down. I felt like it's still gonna go down. I was like, "Yeah." Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I ain't give him the yeah. I had to, to give him. The, you ain't give no. I, I don't want to yeah, say. You know, I don't want to say that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I ain't say yeah. I ain't say no. Yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> you know. You know how I do. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you know. You, you know, know what it is. You know what it is. <laughs> you know how I do. So you already know, fam. <laughs> <You're>, <laughs> 
That ain't listen, listen. You already know it's not a yes or a no. <laughs> it's just a response to get you to stop saying whatever, whatever the fuck you press me saying. about. Whatever you ask, you already know. <laughs> you right. yeah, Kelly, you ain't do that shit, did you? You already, you already know, know, man. man. <laughs> <laughs> if you really want to challenge somebody to say no I don't know <laughs> please tell no. me more <laughs> clarify <it>, please <laughs> did you or didn't you but, yo, for the record <laughs> what's fucked up about all that is yo a week later shorty <clears throat> got another job and left <laughs> so you didn't even get this <laughs> no Yo, but I'm still. Hey, listen. So you, so you officially lied on your dick, nigga. I officially did, bro. God, I damn. officially did, and I still have to take credit this day for a kill that I never had <laughs> <laughs> because motherfuckers still ask me. I'm still at the same job for fucking 14 years, <laughs> <laughs> nigga. Still, that's been there 14 years. <laughs> Say, yo, <laughs> kill and smash that. Yo, nigga, I can't believe you killed such and such, man. I'm like. Yeah, you already know. <laughs> oh, shit. you know what it is. <laughs> you know what it is. Oh man, you know what it is, man. <laughs> you remember that shit too? Yeah, <laughs> nigga, you know what it is. You man. know what it is, man. You already know what God time it is, damn. man. Damn, yeah, that's hilarious, bro. <laughs> that is hilarious, man. Oh man. Oh my. <laughs> that was a good little laugh. I like that shit, man. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Fucking man. um. Uh, I mean, not that. We, Khalees, bro. Khalees, what's going on with Khalees, man? Please explain to me. Khalees is demanding more child support from Nas. Mm. So mind you, um, she gets eight thousand dollars a month mm. from child support. Eight thousand dollars a month. Yeah. I'd be hitting them scratch offs, nigga. That's the only scratch offs I play. <laughs> <laughs> Two thousand dollars a week for life. Yo, you get eight thousand dollars a month, man. So. Like I guess people I, out there imagine that eight thousand dollars. What, what and you're not would, doing anything to get it. What would you say the average amount? How much do you make a month? It ain't eight thousand. And how much would you? How much would you ideally like to make a month that you feel like I could take care of my family? I could put smiles on About the face five. of everybody. About five thousand dollars a month. Yeah. You ain't asking for if, much, dog. If I made five thousand dollars a month, I'd be great. I'd be great. I'd be fantastic too. I'm talking about after taxes. After taxes, five thousand dollars a month. I, I would be living. Pay my mortgage. I would be living the life. I could on pay $5, my car month. note. I could pay for the wife's car note. No and, questions n- asked. No, qu- I could put food on the table. Yeah, and I could save up to travel. Yeah, yeah. and if my kids do something special, I could do something special for them. Yes, sir. Five thousand dollars a month. Five thousand dollars will accomplish that. Yes, sir. But fucking, I hate you so much right now. I want to fucking ask for more than eight. Yeah, that's Bitch, crazy. Why? How many kids they had together? One. One fucking kid together. And I'm it's, sure you it's get not the, like it's like she ain't getting money. She you, out here getting yeah, money. Yeah, you get to perform somewhere. She get to perform. She got hits that she could perform. Mm-hmm. According to the article that I read, she's a chef now. So I guess she's a celebrity chef or mm-hmm. whatever the case is. I'm not sure what she's doing. I'm pretty sure she could still model. She's a good looking woman. It's mm. it's it's plenty of different bags that she can get right now. Yeah. And eight thousand dollars a month ain't enough. Ain't why enough. why females, women, I and I'm sorry to sound so misogynistic. But why is it that y'all do that? Cause I would assume it's cause it, the the logic behind this is like well, he's making a lot of money. Her I lo- should get more. Her logic behind it is that when they are, they originally agreed to mm. this these terms, mm. the child was three years old. Yeah. So now the child is eight years old, and he has different needs now, more expensive needs. So she she didn't specify a specific amount, but she says she need more than eight thousand dollars. Eight thousand dollars is is not enough Yo. to take care of the child. Damn, bro. And I'm talking about I, 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 five thousand would do me right with two kids in the house and a wife, bro. Oh yeah, 
But she At least won she need to over. F- she need she need the fuck out of here award. <laughs> well, <laughs> we need to yeah. start. We need to start giving the fuck out of here awards. Yeah, here. worry, man. Yeah, you're right. Man. Get you need to get the, the fuck out of here. <laughs> get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yo, that's going to be a new segment on Bootleg Kick Podcast coming up in the near future. <laughs> Get the fuck, fuck out of here, here, word. Yo. The FOH. Yeah. We're, we're going to do the FOHs yeah, at the end of the year. Yeah. Nah, nah, we're going to do that in each fucking podcast. Charlamagne have Donkey in the day. Fucking um, Ebro got, yo, congratulations. You just played, you played yourself. yourself. Yo, we, we got, got the FOHs. Fuck out of here, yo. <laughs> fuck out of here, Cleese, man. Yeah, you need to get the fuck out of here. And you were one of my favorites, too. Fuck out of here! I still smash though. I mean, I won't let off though. We're not raw, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> End up on child support, exactly. So. And 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 uh, according to what I read, um, Nas she said that she's she trying to keep the child away from Nas. Mm. So basically, she allows him to see her see the child, which is a son. I forgot mm. the name of the son, but she allows Nas <laughs> to see the son mm. on her terms. Yeah. So whenever she says it's okay, then. You know, he could see his son or whatever, but please yeah. fuck out of here, man. Fuck out of here for real, man. So I was reading some rich nigga shit, man. <laughs> rich, what's, what's rich nigga? What rich, rich nigga niggas do? Shit. What, what rich niggas do? What rich niggas do, man. If, if y'all know who Elon Musk is, this nigga, um, who, who is Elon Musk? I'm, I'm I sure you know. It sounds like he went to the bottom of the ocean or some shit. Like, who is you, you heard his name I before. heard it, but I can't. I heard I Kanye name, yeah, yeah, mention yeah. him or whatever, that name, whatever. That name jumped off at the page at me. So, but I can't place where I know it from. So he, and don't fact check book. Exactly. You just here for the opinion. <laughs> 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 That's our new shit Bootleg Game Podcast You just you here for the opinion, opinion. <laughs> So Elon Musk Right I guess it's a Billionaire dude He um I'm, I'm sure we all heard of SpaceX Um They send rockets into space For mm-hmm. various fucking reasons But to sit this one out dub man. But But recently this man, motherfucker. You're going to get into an argument. We're going to sit this one out. Oh, why are you going to get into an argument? Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Finish no, up. Man. Man. Let's get it, man. Let's Finish up it. the intro. Finish up the intro. So, Elon Musk uh, mm. decided to send a fucking rocket into space. Yeah. What was on this rocket? A Tesla. A Tesla. A drop a, top. A drop top Tesla <laughs> with a dummy in the driver's seat. Mm. And that motherfucker is, as we speak, mm. orbiting around. the earth. Why? See, that's why me and you gonna get to an argument, though, dog. Okay, let's get it. Man can't go into outer space, dog. What do you mean, man can't go into outer space? Because the Earth is flat, dog. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dome, dog. <laughs> <laughs> so, so they didn't open up the dome for him. They ain't open up the dome for him. So, bro. so this is this is all CGI. This bullshit. is all CGI. Dog. The funny thing about that shit too the is, dude said it's so fit. It so, looks so real. It's so. Well, you say it's, it, it's so real, looks fake. Yes, and that's Pretty exactly how it looked to me. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking this fucking car fills up my screen, and this fucking mannequin doing this shit. Right here. Nigga, lean back. <laughs> and he doing this shit right here. Diamond in the in back, a drop top, sun rooftop, just just Kicking floating the, the scene fuck on around. a gangster lead in a, on a Tesla. Just flipping the fuck around. Like, get, the, <laughs> get the fuck out of here, bro. You like, we Earth. are the cure for cancer, cure for AIDS, but we flipping fucking Teslas in space on the most advanced rocket ever built. <laughs> Suck my fucking dick, man. Suck all these fucking nuts, man. You're let's say you get the entire balls, nigga. All of this shit, man. Fuck out of here. You get my balls. <laughs> Motherfucking my shaft, balls, nigga. My balls. <laughs> Suck on my balls with that bullshit. So you don't believe? They, yo, damn. They, they caught it on a telescope, bro. What's, what's the nigga name? Fucking Elon Musk. Yeah. And Khalees. Fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yo, so you don't believe that it's Fuck a. Fuck So you yo. don't believe it's a Tesla or, orbiting the Earth right now? Fuck out of here, bro. Going at 18 million miles per hour. <laughs> 
You know what I want to see? Yeah. You know what I want to see? Yeah. I want to see a slow motion cap. I, yeah. I want to see a slow motion camera. I and they only see... have one angle of this shit, dog. Now they got a couple different angles. They got a couple angles. They got a couple angles. Uh-huh. What I want to see? I want to see y'all or y'all want to? I want y'all to send a fucking slow motion camera up uh-huh. there, right? Uh-huh. And I want y'all to send something else mm-hmm. to intercept this shit and yeah. crash into it. Yeah. And I want to see that shit explode on slow motion camera. Yeah, bro. fuck that. You need to fucking outflip a fucking Lamborghini up there. Tesla and Lamborghini and just do this shit in the space or some shit. Like, man, fuck out of here, man. Yeah, too much that money. Say, that nigga say it's CGI that look realer than this shit. D- yo, for real, bro. I watched all the movies, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, matter of fact, what's that fucking new shit on Netflix, man? What, you know what I mean? They putting fucking chips in people when they, you know what I'm saying? They they could, nigga could is live it, like 300 years or more and shit like is that. It, is it, um... You, you watch that shit on 4K? Nigga, that shit look clean as fuck. <laughs> I seen a bitch jump off a fucking, off a floating fucking uh, mansion in the sky. And that shit look ill, nigga. Tell me that shit ain't look ill. Fuck out of here. Think of, you, I'm trying to think of what you're talking about, man. Yo, I'm going to show you that scene after this, man. Y'all look you it up, what, man. You know what? You know what? Uh, just on a little tangent, though. Mm. Check out um, What Happened to Monday. Yeah. You saw that movie? Yeah, 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 yeah. That, yeah, that movie shit is, is fucking crazy, yeah. bro. Yeah, yeah, that shit is hard, yeah. Y'all check out What Happened yeah. to Monday. That's a dope-ass Netflix movie, man. Yeah. Um, but yeah, man, this nigga sent a fucking Tesla into space with a, with a damn... Man, what, yeah, what enough, <laughs> enough, enough, dub. You enough. don't believe it happened? I don't believe it happened, bro. I do not believe it happened. But you saw happened. the rocket lift off, though, bro. <laughs> and they always show the rocket lifting off, dub. If you look closely, the rocket does not go straight up. It starts going this way. But yeah, I don't want to get into that argument with you, bro. Yeah, man. I don't want to get into that argument so, with you. So they, so, they, so they did that, and it's a camera attached to it. Mm-hmm. So it could show you that, yo, man, this shit is real, man. Again, people of the United States of America... Anybody out there, I am not the sharpest tool in the shed. I will admit that to you. Mm-hmm. However. So you think that you hired some, C- some, crappy, some crappy CGI motherfuckers to do this shit, bro? However, yo, Why? there Why? is a lot of things that's going on. There's a lot of things that's wrong with humanity. For somebody to spend that amount of bread. <clears throat> they said they went to the moon back in the 60s. I haven't been back to the moon since. Mm. But yet they should send in Teslas out, in out of space. Come on, man. Yeah, man. Come on. You got money to do it, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they should have a camera on the moon, like, yo, all right, we see that shit coming. We see that Tesla. All right, zoom. That shit passing by, but they can't do all of that now. Cause it, you it know ain't what, real. You know what I would do mm. if I had that kind of money, dude? Right. What would you do? Tell me. <laughs> if you own Tesla or what? What would you do? If I had that kind of, mm. if I had that kind of money, just to just to do, because that's that's random mm. as fuck, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Would, would we agree that this is super duper? This random. Is super duper fucking random. That's a lot of money for some random shit. I'd have my sperm floating in space. <laughs> <laughs> if I had that kind of money. I'd bust a nut in the motherfucking cup <laughs> and send that shit out in the space, nigga. <laughs> that shit floating around. And have that shit just floating in Yo, a capsule, word, son. Word, man. Word, word. Yo. <laughs> That's me. Yo, floating around up there. That's funny as shit, yo. <laughs> That's word, man. Freezer packs, nigga. I wouldn't even fucking put it in a cup. I'd just go out there. And <laughs> Let off in space. Imagine, man. imagine, imagine beating off in space. Yo. <laughs> yo, this episode is wild, man. Yo, this is real, nigga. Is yo, wild. y'all go ahead and comment on this. What would y'all do in space? <laughs> If you had enough money, what yeah. would you send in space? <laughs> what would you send in space? Y'all Real send, shit. Hey, man, I'm busting a nut, man. I'm put, <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> my nut gonna be floating yeah, around. For real. <laughs> Orbiting the earth, son. For real, nigga. Fuck that. I'll fucking have a picture of me busting a nut on fucking Beyonce's face and just have that shit <laughs> flipping around, nigga. <laughs> Fuck out of here. <laughs> That's my monument. <laughs> Fuck you, nigga. <laughs> Hell. Oh, oh man! Shit. <laughs> All right, so I mean, we got a lot of co- um. Do we want to talk about the Cavs trade? Nah, fuck that. All Let's right, get to him. Germany, man. What's going on in Germany, man? Germany, they um, they this ain't a sports podcast, by the way. Exactly, man. Um, mm. fuck Isaiah, mm. <laughs> fuck LeBron too. 
for real. I like LeBron, but fuck LeBron. Um, 28, 28 hour work weeks in Germany. Mm. So basically, what they is they they I guess they they came to some kind of conclusion or they 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 yeah, fought. And altered Car- carbon is the name of the um, Netflix series, by the way. Altered Carbon. Yeah, I didn't see it yet. Um, I heard about it. Yeah, but yeah. I, I need to. I need to go ahead and check that yeah, out. But watch it on like a 4K device or something like that. You're gonna see why Tesla is bullshit. I might. Ahead. I might. I might check it out tonight. Yeah. Um. So millions of German, the millions of German workers are winning the right for a fight for a 28 hour work week. Mm-hmm. Um. Labor union IG Metal secured an unprecedented deal this week to give a large portion of its 2.3 million members mm-hmm. more flexible working hours and a big pay rise. From next year, workers of many Germany's top engineering firms, such as Mercedes and some other shit, will work up to 28 hours for two years. So it's like a contract for two years where they work a 28 hour work week. Mm. And, and until after that, they'll return to the standard of a 35 hour work week. So fuck all 35 the, hours is a standard. Yes. God so damn. fuck. So fuck the details of this article. Yeah. Let's 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 apply this shit mm. to America right now. Yeah. Imagine if you only had to work 20, 28 hours a week. And um, what and from what I'm, I'm reading in this article, some. Thin um, hat time, people. Thin foil hat for me, for, for killer. Okay, this is this is thin foil hat conversation. Before ahead, before, you, before you start, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of the people in this article, or some of the companies in this article, I think one of them said that they either lowered the rate, the the, the wages to kind of compensate for this. Nah, wages got increased according to that. But go ahead. what that, that was the first line that it said, but then later on it said another company. Mm. I guess they'll lower the wages to compensate for that, or whatever the mm. case is. Yeah, but. Damn, dude, to only have to work twenty eight hours a week, bro. Hey, yo, that's Go ahead. thin for a hat. Thin yep. for a hat. I think that's what's wrong with America these mm-hmm. days. Okay, if you really think about it, you know what I mean. Like, what's more valuable than money? Time. Time. So imagine how time is the most valuable thing on this planet. Exactly. Mm-hmm. But most of your time is, is at occupied work. at work. Yeah. So. How how can you? Who are who are the people that have the most time? That do all the fuck shit that you see on TV, Hold Chris, that you see on social media. And then, mind you, they said right now that their economy is booming, mm-hmm. and they they um, exactly. I'm I'm getting to that. Okay, I'm okay. getting to that. Go ahead, go ahead. So all the people that you see on TV, lowest unemployment for this country in a long time. Go ahead. Yeah, doing all the fuck shit and fuckery and driving. You know what I'm saying? Like the 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 hip hop culture and all this shit is the people that chose not to go to work. Yeah. Just to say, yo, fuck work. I'ma do this. I'ma do this. Yeah. And those are the people that we sit there and let us let and and we idolize and let them tell us, oh, give a drop fucking Will Smith jewels and fucking yeah. all this bullshit. Like, imagine if you, well, I'm yourself. Out there, well, I'm out here sailing on canals and shit in yeah, fucking California. Yeah. In California. Enjoying shit, the sun and, with my and, wife. Right. Dropping jewels Imagine on you had the time to do that. It would be a lot more opportunity. It would be a lot more creative juices flowing in the United States. It'd be a, be lot, a lot more, more shit, man. And the economy would go up. Motherfuckers would be happier. Happier. The motherfuckers probably wouldn't be killing themselves. None worrying of Worrying about bills and all kind of fuck. None of that. Traveling. Seeing places. Like, everybody wanted to go to California or come to Florida or do all that thing. But, yeah, I don't got time. When's the last time you want to? You said, "Yo, I I would love to go to such and such and go see the fucking." When's the last time y'all went to see the National Mon- Monument? And shout never, out to f- never, never, because you ain't got time. Fucking busy. And working, if I have time, to pay, that's not where the fuck I'm going. Trying to pay bills, trying yeah. to pay back these student loans. Exactly, nigga. and that's just, that's that's what United States one is trapped in is that we need to keep working to pay these bills and we keep living. To work, got to keep America going, brother. But it's not America. You you're living to work. Yes, you got to keep America going. That's how that's how we keep this country going. Us 
breaking no. our fucking back. Remember this shit it's is blatant. Keep it's your ass off the fucking streets. Keep your ass out of trouble because nah. if you want this, stay your ass here. Remember, work your ass off. Remember, and go. this country is based off slave labor, bro. Mm. It's just a modern day slavery. Exactly. Busy signal. Welcome to the days of modern day slavery. Yo, that you're right. You you are absolutely right. Think for a half of that, but you're absolutely right. It's slavery. Get your ass out there on the field, yeah. and then come home and fucking watch a television program because that's the only thing you have time for. Yeah. Play some video games, nigga. Play PUBG. <laughs> that's all you have time for. Yeah. Watch these bullshit ass NBA and NFL this, games. That's how we're gonna entertain you until it's time for you to get your ass back, back to work. Because that's all you got time for. Yeah. But what happened to living? Fuck living. The <laughs> United States don't want you to live, nigga. <laughs> they don't want you, they to, want live. you to work. Word, work man. until you're dead. Bum clock. <laughs> You ain't got time to live, man. You got time to destiny. work. Destiny. Mama, look for long. You call me. Mm-hmm. Yo, we got to live our destinies, man. We got to. destiny is to work until you <laughs> no, die. And don't make them make that, that that narrative for you. And you know what, man? A lot of people look at me and look at the professional men and um, they judge me for it. They say, yo, why would you stay there this long and do this this long? Da, 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 yo. Because, bro, I, I don't believe in none of this shit, bro. I don't. I need to be me. I don't want to conform to the bullshit. I do not drink any of the Kool Aid that they're trying to put on the tuck fucking table. Mm. I'd rather be me than fucking to assimilate to be the fucking person you want me to be to come up with you. Fuck that. I agree. Fuck that, man. You know what I mean? And I, that's what I'm trying to pass on to my kids, man. Fuck this bullshit, yo. Hey, man. Germany got the uh, shit figured out. Hopefully. I agree. And then uh, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think France is another country that, mm. that I think they, they give you mm. at least three to four weeks of vacation per year. Yeah. If you work a full time job uh-huh. with benefits and shit like that. Yeah. Um, you it, I remember, y'all, mm. y'all here for the opinions, not yeah, the facts. Yeah, yeah, not the facts. But I believe it's France. Yeah, and they give you a, a x amount of a, a dollars. Yeah, Spain and all them countries yeah, that you go yeah. home and sleep and shit. Like, yeah. what's that shit called? A siesta. You know what I'm saying? Go home and have a siesta or a fiesta, whatever yeah, the fuck. Man. Yeah, I hear for the opinion. Imagine, imagine if you at your like, just thinking about calling out for your job. You got to be making, yo, man, yo, my brother lost his arm in this crazy mm-hmm. ass accident. I need to go see him in the hospital. Right, man. right. Just to get a fucking day off from work. Yeah, word. Imagine the last time you had a day off of work. Really, 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 really think about this, right? Last time you said, yo, fuck it, I ain't going to work today. Yeah. And you, yeah, you want to. Well, what did you have to do to get that day off? What did you have to do to get or that day off? Or you had to off? tell your manager. And how many of your niggas was off on that day? None. None. So you just what? spend that day sleeping, sleeping or watching sit- fucking first take, <laughs> <laughs> listening to Stephen A. Hanging Smith around. yell at Max Kellerman. <laughs> <laughs> just hanging around. And, and yeah. yeah, it might have felt good, but. If you had to do all this time, it sucked because nobody yeah. else was off. Was off. I remember one time they got took a day off, and I just went to the beach, right? Mm. And I was at the beach, and there was a whole bunch of French Canadians out there. And ain't nobody, <laughs> ain't nobody speak no English. Yeah. And I was just out there by myself, yeah, standing fucking ankle deep in the goddamn right. water, just doing nothing. My girl, this is kind of sad. Nigga, I drank a couple of beers by myself. Mm. When it got a I'm slice of pizza, the best and I was just like, "Yo, man, this shit is boring. This, this shit. shit is whack." Cause ain't nobody else the fuck out here. Everybody else at work. Everybody gets I'm there up calling working. motherfuckers. Yeah. And, Damn, man, why Killer ain't picking up his yeah. goddamn phone? Kill at work. Yeah, exactly. Now imagine twenty hours. Oh lord, mm. yo and yo. If y'all didn't know, a lot of the work, um, That's the crazy. the labor laws and things like that, or that um. Happened at your job and shit like that. A lot of the stuff came from um, union, fucking. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Going and fighting for these labor laws and stuff like that. Yeah. And it got allocated to the United States. Like, okay, yeah, you know, what I mean? minimal work week, forty hours. I think they da, need. Da, 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 da. What, they need that. What they need to do is they need to do what they're doing in Germany they need mm-hmm. to raise our pay and 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 minimize our work week to four days a week, bro. Yeah. I think that a lot of people would be happier if they had three days off from work. Every single week, exactly. bro. That'd be, yeah. That would be lovely, bro. That'd be lovely, and it's not to just go home and sit around. Like people would be out, yeah, spending money, spending money, spending in local time, business, whatever, whatever, 
traveling, yeah, doing things of that nature. Yo, America needs that, but they, you know, what I'm saying. Instead, they go ahead and then they give you a little fucking um tax reform fucking check for a thousand dollars and shit like that. You know, what I'm saying. I knew one of my homeboys. I had a homeboy, bro, mm-hmm. and this nigga made something like I want to say like a hundred thousand or plus a year. Yeah, and I got another homeboy that's currently making something like that right now. Yeah. You know how much time that person has to spend at work? They're still doing 14-hour days. And I look at them and say, well, yo. That's ridiculous. You're making a lot of money. True. But when do you have time to enjoy it? Never. 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 You're just forwarding somebody else's dream, man. Yeah. And and I mean, to, yeah. to kind of go off on a tangent, I was talking to somebody else about that at work. And mm-hmm. I was talking to them about my current job. And I mm-hmm. said to them, I said, listen, <clears throat> I like my job. Mm-hmm. Matter of fact, it's the best company I ever worked for in my life. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, I don't see myself being here for the long term. So my goal is to do what I can now and just basically do the bare minimum. Do the bare minimum. I'm not trying to be the next CEO of this company. I'm not trying to move up anymore. I'm not trying to do none of that. I'm just trying to maintain so I can pay my bills. And then on the side, I'm going to do my own shit until I build it up into what I need it to be. So I'm going to do this motherfucking podcast. Mm -hmm. I'm going to come up with different business models and invest in certain businesses and you know, maybe try to see if I could buy a property mm-hmm. or some shit like that. So to the point where I am my own boss, yeah. I make, the sh- I, I, I call the shots. Help us with this podcast, people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I call the shots. Yeah. I'm not out here working. Like, oh, it's, I, I need to be to work at eight o'clock in the morning. Yeah, and it's and it's seven thirty five right yeah. now. How I'm brush my teeth hey, and put my clothes fuck on. Does it matter about the time I show up at work? As long as I put in work when I get there, bitch. Yeah. Fuck you. But they, yeah, yeah, but they don't see that shit. They don't see that shit. So I told that person, I said, yo, th- that's that's my goal. I said, my, by the time, hopefully it works out, by the time I'm 40, I'm fucking doing my own thing and I ain't got to be worrying about punching nobody clock. I'm yeah, It's less stress on my that's, chest. That's the goal. All I think that, that, that should be everybody's goal, man. Yeah. Yo, think about the Trying time my own shit. that you spend on this planet, man. And I, I, I talked to a good friend of mine and- you know what I'm saying? His mom, his mom is retiring in a year. His mm-hmm. father is retiring in five years. And he was like, "Yeah, man, they deserve it, man. They 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 did a, they they did a lot, man. They put in hard work. Yeah, and they deserve sure it. they did. And I'm like, "Yo, what are they gonna do after they retire? He's like, "Yo, they gonna travel and all that. You know what I'm saying? Which is all good and cool, man. I, I get it. Do that but now I want to do that now. I want to do that now when I can when fucking I can, hit yeah. the ski slopes and bend my knees. Nigga. Yeah, my nigga. I don't want to be able to be doing that shit at exactly. 65 when I can't bend my fucking knees no That's more, That's what I'm man. trying to say. Yeah. Yo, I want to go when I can enjoy it, not when I can't, man. Yeah. I want to come back with stories. I want to come back with experiences. I, I, I have a conversation with a homeboy all the time. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, man, I got... I got about, about about twenty more years left in this shit, man. And you be forty five when I retire. Like niggas, the what? Huh? What? Huh? <laughs> twenty more years left. Like nah, nigga, seventeen more years left in this shit. Nah. Yeah, man. Germany, that ain't man. Where, that ain't where I'm trying to be, bro. America might have beat you to space. Quote unquote, mm. but y'all beat us to the fucking bunch with the fucking uh, yeah. work hours, man. Space race, man. Great idea, fucking yo. It's about humanity, not about fucking all this other shit y'all trying to sell, man. So, fuck with Germany for that, man. Definitely, man. Fuck with them, man. So, yo, so, um, what we got? Uh, that's that shit on. You got something else? We got more topics? One more, one more, one more. One more okay, more y'all topic. thought it was over? Y'all know what it is. <laughs> 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 That's gonna be the title. <laughs> you know what it is. You know what it is. <laughs> so uh, it's a petition that came about that asking Marvel to give twenty five percent of Black Panther <laughs> profits to uh-huh. Black communities. Uh-huh. So they having uh-huh. people to sign a fucking petition uh-huh. to petition Marvel uh-huh. to give twenty five percent of Black Panther profits to Black communities. Yo, I love black people. I, I, I'm proud to be a black person. Mm-hmm. Uh, I ain't gonna say American. I'm, I'm just proud to be black. Period. Yeah. Well, fuck out of here with that shit, though. I agree with you, and I, so, I, I agree with you 
for your opinions on Black Panther. I was shitting Let's on it. Let's talk about it, nigga. I was shitting on it a little bit, Let's right? Let's talk about it, nigga. I was shitting on it a little bit until I fucking started hearing people from the hood telling me how much they want to go see this movie. Why? And I had to sit there and ask myself, what was, what's the last movie you saw, bro? Or homegirl? I ain't been in the movies in a minute. But I'm going to see Black Panther, but I'm though. I'm going to see Black Panther, though. Why? Why? They sold you. Sold you, man. They sold you. It's Mark Black X. They sold and, and you I Black shat, X. I shit it. I, gotta, I really got to apologize. Nigga, you shit it on me, bro. I really did. Let me just bask in this shit. I did, bit. man. I got motherfuckers on the internet calling you Louis Gossip Jr. for the bullshit. Hey, you see that? <laughs> yeah, I see that shit. P double AKA hey, Louis, Louis Gossip, Gossip Jr. Jr. They shit it on you on the comments and everything like that. You this know what I'm saying? Old, this old fuck ass, old ass <laughs> yeah, nigga. Yeah, nigga. Don't know what the fuck you talking about. <laughs> no, you talking, talking that talking shit about, about Black Panther, but man. Yeah, how, how, how dare, dare you, he? nigga? How dare he? But my old nigga, you riding the motherfucker, dog. Wasn't I, though? Yo, they this, sold y'all on black excellence, li- man. Listen, people, if y'all don't understand, the movie is sold out. The movie won before it came out. Everywhere, bro. It won before it came out. It sold the fuck out. And it and, won and, 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 before and, it came. Now you got people ha- asking for handouts from a movie that ain't even out yet. The movie's not out and they asking for handouts, my nigga. Imagine that. God damn. This is set. <laughs> you said, yo. Hold on, that's hold like on. you going. That's like the baby mother going to the daddy. Said, I heard what you finna do next week. You don't think you could give me a couple of money off of that? Bitch, I ain't did it yet. It didn't work out. I don't know. So imagine this. Imagine <laughs> this, right? Like you just yo. said, this movie is sold out, y'all. Sold out. It didn't come out yet. It made billions of this, dollars and it didn't make billions of dollars. Yes, yet. this movie is poised to be. Mm hmm. The highest I'm grossing. Sorry, it's, I apologize, it's, bro. It's, it's poised to be the highest grossing Marvel. <laughs> I apologize, Marvel bro. movie of all time. But, but I'm looking at it. It's the highest I, movie of movie all. of all time. So just yeah. think about it. All these fucking black people. Mm-hmm. Which uh, 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 the I'm director talk, is only I'm talking, 31. I'm and talking, he's black. I'm talking to the woman. I'm talking to the women at my job, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm going to sleep back. I already bought my tickets for me, my husband, and my son. Damn. What you, you know about Black? I have no, no clue, clue what the fuck Black Panther is about. Nothing. But they but sold y'all black. on this Black Excellence, though. They did, man. They told y'all it's a whole, it's a, it's an entire black, it's a majority black cast. Mm-hmm. It's this and it's that. It's a black it's a director. Fucking, it's why a fucking is it so superhero. black then? Why is it's it a so superhero? Black? But why is it so black? It's been black superheroes before. No, 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 no. What I mean is, why is the movie overall so black? Why I don't know. That's what I'm trying to tell you. They, you just, I'm, 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 I'm arguing your point. They sold, they sold us on us, black man. excellence. It's a black director, a black actors. You know what I'm saying? Black villain, black superhero. Mm-hmm. Every fucking mm-hmm. thing in this movie right here is selling you on black excellence. Yeah. And niggas is going to go see this shit. Because if you think about it, dude, who the fuck is Black Panther? They don't. They don't know. They don't know. They just know. I grew, I grew they, up. They were told this is our movie. I grew up. I grew up into comics, right? Mm-hmm. And I, I don't. I do not own a fucking Black Panther comic book. Yeah, and it was I don't. He, yeah, it wasn't gonna. Yo, know, even when it was a black dude, no, he was like, I, yeah. I just don't gravitate towards this character. How did Black Panther become so cool? That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, you're right. You're right, bro. They sold us on fucking black excellence, they man. They sold us, man. That's it's, what they did. It's it's it's, it's old, man. Pete, America bought it. Black Americans buying it. Bought it. White Americans bought, bought it. it. The movie. It's like yo. It's like it's, inco- it's like your income tax check is coming, and they don't spend that money already, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the crazy thing is, is, is I seen I seen somebody post recently. Yeah, and they said y'all niggas better not trip mm. when Stan Lee make his appearance in this movie. 
Because mm. you know Stan Lee yeah, made a cam- him, yeah. a cameo in every yeah. fucking Marvel movie. So Niggas y'all no better trip. not trip if Stan Lee make it. Without Stan Lee, it's, it's like, uh, <laughs> when they say without Jesus Christ, none of this is possible. But that ain't that <laughs> it's, a, it's the same thing. But Stan Lee is Jesus to the fucking Marvel Universe. And without what, Stan Lee, none of this is fucking possible. Isn't, isn't that the, the real shit of the, the power of us, though? The power of black people where, you know what I'm saying? Like, we don't go to, like, the majority of us don't go to shit. Like, yo, fuck that movie. Like, and everybody's see that going to Black Panther for but some everybody reason. Everybody is going to Black Panther. And I, 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 listen, America, YouTube, whoever is listening to this podcast, talk. Go speak to your hoodest of hoodest of hoodest friends and ask that person when was the last time they went to the movie theater and when's the next time they go in the movie theater the last time is a long time niggas ago niggas done pre-ordered the next time is Black Panther niggas I promise done pre-ordered you, I promise you the, next, the last time was a long time ago the next time is Black Panther and you ask them what, you ask them why they go in the past they Black don't, Panther they can't even give you an answer you already know what it is you <laughs> know what it is <laughs> you know what it is hey, yo. Hey, yo. <laughs> you know what it is yo. Oh. you already know oh, you know what it dog. is I'm dead dog that shit just, that shit sums it up so tight yo that shit sums it you already yo. know what it is it's black excellence nigga Hey, yo, you know you, what it is. If we put out this clip where you don't understand what you know what it is, go listen, <laughs> go listen to the full version of the podcast. Yeah, man. And you know what we're talking about. You already know what it yeah, is, you man. You know what it it's is. Bootleg man. People Cop Podcast, man. You're not here for the facts. You're here for the opinions. <laughs> yeah, it's bootleg, man. <laughs> yo, we said we was going to change our shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is, man. That's what it you is. know what it is. <laughs> you know what it is. You're not here for the facts. <laughs> You're here, here for the opinions, opinions yeah, man. man. It's bootleg kid podcast. <laughs> <laughs> the most underrated motherfucking podcast out there, and I'm serious about that. Oh, Fuck shit. with you us, know what? man. You know what? You know what? I had some shit for that. That's that shit I don't like. All right, yeah, let's hear it, man. But we gonna go, go put the drop I lost in. It. I Fuck lost it. it. Put the drop in, man. All right. So that's what? that shit I don't like, man. You know, something something I told you about, like maybe about last week or a week ago or whatever, mm-hmm. man. Yo, fellas, man, you know what I'm saying? We we spoke about lying on your dick on the podcast and all that shit. But yo, don't 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 lie about the shit, man. Yo, if you're gonna tell me one thing, don't go and do another thing. Just mm. keep it real all the way. I hate people. That's that shit I don't like. Mm-hmm. People that tell you this is how they feel. Mm-hmm. But turn around and do something contrary to what they told you. Mm. So, yo, if you're going to tell me this is what you're going to do, you're going to tell me this is what you about, make what you do match what you're talking about. Mm. Or what you're talking about, make it match what you do. Either way, keep it a buck. To be honest, I, I need to just leave it right there, man. Mm. I mean, I, I, dude, I had, I, I had something, and I, I, I really wanted to come on and say it. <laughs> Sometimes I need to send a text message yeah. to myself or whatever the case is. But yeah. I'm just going, I'm gonna rock with you on that one. Yeah, bro. man, definitely, definitely. That's that man. shit I don't like, man. That's that shit I don't like, man. <laughs> <laughs> so what it is? <laughs> yeah, yeah Who man. Who came a podcast? You're not here for the facts. You here for the opinions, man? And yes, bootleg. Ain't nothing about it. Man, we out. That's what it is, man. Peace. Yeah.